Welcome to Islands on Roblox. It's your boy Joe Lotto and I'm excited to get started in today's video. Now I have played this game before but it has been a while. They did a lot of new updates and I'm just really excited to see what they actually did. Now it's not letting me actually move here. There we go. Alright this game was suggested by Blue Outline is Cool so thank you so much for showing me this game again because it's been a really really long time since I played I mean I think last time I played is when they did like the uh, maybe the farm update or something I don't really know and for some reason my foraging level is just going up and up and up maybe it's because these I don't know there's definitely a lot of stuff that I need to improve why is it leveling up so much like is level 5 good I don't know but let me just like get a lay of the land, because I totally forgot like what this deal is. I do have chests though that have like a lot of stuff in them. Yeah, I do have better better items. Fortunately, I don't know what any of this stuff does anymore. Foraging. Leveled up. All right, so yeah, let's go to the town. I unlocked stuff that I think I already had. All righty, welcome to the hub. Everything's loading in, so it might take a, take a little hot minute, but it's cool. This has changed so much. Like, I remember when I played this, it did not look this cool. Every animal needs a loving home. Yes, I want to I wanna view your shop, please. So I don't, I need animal care. There's a lot of things that we need to work on here. Cow spawn egg. Potion of fertility and a milk bucket. Alright, we got options here. Very many options. So, I should probably buy a cow spawn egg, but I don't really know how that works. Now, what is this artist stuff? I right, currently postpone while I sort out some things. Okay. Somebody put a lot of detail into that, though. That is very cool. Can I run? Is that possible? Yes, I can, kind of. Maple Captain? Hey there! Would you like to travel to Maple Island? Let's do it! Maple Baker? Let's talk to this guy. Thank you for welcoming me to this place. Do you know how to make maple syrup? My family has been making maple syrup for a long time. We love maple syrup. Let me teach you how to make it. Okay. Here, take this maple workbench. My family and I will teach you the different recipes you can make with it. Take. To start, you should craft the tree s tap. You can put that on a maple tree to get sap. Bring me three maple sap and I will teach you more. Okay, thanks. I need a maple tree seed, though, if, that, if this is going to work. So at what point... Oh, I need to get wood cutting to 11. Alright, so that's something. Okay, so it really seems like I have a lot of things to catch up on. And they added some, like, leveling system, which definitely is putting me behind because I don't know anything about that. So basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to just, like, plant a bunch of stuff and, like, work on it. So what I'm thinking that we do is for now I'm just gonna like put stuff in chests because why not I don't know what we need and what we don't I think this bow is pretty rare but I'm not actually sure I can't remember it was rare at some point it might not be rare anymore so uh, we got some conveyors we got some of this stuff I actually don't even really remember what any of this jazz does but, wait, do I already have maple trees? Because that would be really convenient for me. So I, I'm not going to need that. I could potentially use that. But let me take these out. And did he give me a tap? Or no? Like, what is this thing? A tomato. And maple sapling. 
So luckily I do have a lot of stuff from the old days, so it doesn't really matter too much. Is this just rope? Ancient slime string. Put that away, put that away. I could plant those if I want. Oh, he gave me like a workbench, right? I don't see the workbench though. Okay, I got problems. Workbench tier three, is that good? I don't know. But how do I, like, factory, forging level 40. See, like, I have some of this stuff. It's kind of crazy. Fun. Utility workbench, yes. Cooking table, furniture, animal. Maple workbench. Maple wood. Alright, do I have any maple wood? I feel like I got it somewhere. Are these all my chests also? I feel like I have more than this. But I might not. Alright, I do have an idea though, so let me... Let me plant a bunch of trees. I don't have many tree saplings, but it's fine. So... Let's start here, but first we gotta clear this out. Give me tall grass, give me tall grass, baby. I'm going to plant them pretty far apart because I don't remember, like, how it works. Hopefully there's no, like, requirement on, like, watering them or anything. Now that we're here, let's uh, view some stuff over here. So we got a bunch of ingots. Are we over here yet? We are working over there. And we got, like, some gold thing over there. I think those little dealios are... You want to, like, mine stuff to them? I don't know. Uh, do I have more grass also? I do have a lot of grass. Okay, because I, I need to make this wider. I need to find a way to, like... Not really find a way, but... I want to make the island more attractive. I think I was trying to find out, like... How big the map is. Maybe they expanded the map, too. I don't know. But let's go over here and see what this thing's all about. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, it's like drilling nothing, apparently, so that's cool. Oh, and the sapling stays. Okay, that's nice. Four times daily bonus. Seventy-nine new letters. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's open this. I don't think any of that is important. Alright, so we're going to make this land bigger. So let's just uh, do that right now. All right, that's actually just going to be good for now. I'm not really too worried about it. So let me see here if I do this and this. Then we're going to go like five blocks out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's probably good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place out there. All right, we got some maple trees, hopefully about to grow. I'm gonna need a bunch of trees. I'm gonna need a bunch of everything because that's just how it works in the land of gelato. So let me pick up this uh, tree sapling. I want all the tree saplings all in one spot. Just so I can mass farm. But this is obviously not a good area. Because I just got too much stuff going on. Alright, so let's pick up these saplings also. Boom, boom. Hit this. We got some tall grass. Hit that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a cow... I don't know if I bought this cow or if I just got the cow for free. 
Cows enjoy wheat. After eating a few pieces of food, wheat are favorites, your cow can be milked. When food level is below 20%, your cow will start losing happiness. Your cow is friendly, they will bring you extra gifts. Your cow would be happier if it had more natural light. The sun is sometimes out of their sight. It's weird because, like, there's no way the sun is out of their sight, okay? And then for this, what's our output looking like? So we're getting a bunch of stone here. I think I was going to make all this in stone, which that seems like a lot of work now that I think about it. And then we have some of this stuff, which is cool. A bunch of coal totems, industrial smelter. Oh, this was to get me wood planks. But for some reason, the coal totems... Oh, I need to put in my own wood. Okay. So... Oh, yeah. I need maple logs. I need 30 maple logs in order to get my stuff. Ooh, this is going to take forever. So, let's make a... What is this? Workbench tier 4? Red bronze ingot and hickory wood. I don't think I have hickory wood, so that's fine. We're just going to have to deal with that. Um, did I click on workbenches? Maple workbench. Craft me one, baby. I might already have one, and that would be kind of a waste. Oh, I did already have one. Ha! Oh, well. It's not that expensive. So basically, maple shield, no. But I want a tree tap. Okay, good. We're going to tap into these trees for some reason. One maple sap. I feel like I should just like be placing all my stuff around because I totally forgot what goes where and all that good stuff. So I'm going to make two taps just because why not. It'll make the process of getting taps or maple syrup faster. Is this one good to go yet? No, it's not. So, while we're waiting, let's just mine some more trees. Alright, I'm back, bro. I did it. You know we could use another pancake chef around here. Here's a recipe for pancake dough. You can craft it in the cooking table. You can sell me any pancakes you make. We have a lot of mouths to feed. Bring me five cooked pancakes and I'll teach you even more. Okay? What about the shop? I want to view this person's shop. So pancakes, 120 coins. That's pretty good. Sweet pancakes, 220. Berry pancakes, 750. So we can get a bed, a couch, bean bag. You know, a lot of money. All right, let's go back to the hub because we need to buy some things. Now, let me take a look in here, because what does it take to get new weapons? Combat? So I am going to have to fight stuff to get better combat level. But I can make an iron sword, which I shall do now. And then gilded steel sickle. Used to speed up crop field harvesting. So let's see if this gives us like a farming level increase at all. It does. This is going to level up our farming so fast. Because I'm like way advanced. I can now get tomato seeds, which I already had. When can I buy these berry seeds also? I'm about to get so much farming experience. I'm going to get this thing to 99. Right now! Just kidding. But just think, I could take my 220,000 coins... I can make so many berry bushes that it's like ridiculous. 
We're already farming level 13. That is so incredible. I love just, you know, skipping time. I'm also glad that I played this game when it first came out, because if I didn't, I feel like this would be a lot harder. Because if I'm only getting one experience per thing, I mean, imagine having to grow like potatoes or something. That would take forever. But I just got 2,596 experience. But we have a lot of stuff to get done. I don't even know what to do next. I'm really just going to have to expand everything and make it super huge. Alright everybody, that is going to be the end of today's video on islands. It seems that I have a lot of work to do with the new update. So here's my plan on what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand the island a little bit. Like I'm going to make a good spot for all the trees. I'm going to make a decent spot for the sawmills and just anything industrial. I'm going to do that stuff. I'm going to like fix that area a little bit better because... I don't even really know what that's doing over there, so I need to improve that. And I'm also going to work on some of my like levels. So I'm going to work on forging. That's just going to happen automatically. But I also need to work on mining, woodcutting, and combat at the very least. And then once we get all that good stuff, I will record the next video because there's just so much stuff that we need to get done. And I don't really know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make progress nonetheless. So with that, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Blue Outline, I hope you enjoyed it as well, because I made this video for you. And with that, I hope to see you guys in my next video. So whenever that may be, hopefully it's soon, and the more views and likes and all that stuff this video gets the faster i will record the next video so until then have a fantastic rest of your day and i cannot wait to see you in my next video so until then peace out